Welcome back to Southeast Texas Weekly. You know, heart disease kills more women in the United States than all cancers combined. And one of the biggest obstacles is getting the word out and convincing women to take care of themselves. Kathy Catalano with Go Red for Women is here to talk about the disease and an event that you may want to attend. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you. Well, let's talk first about what heart disease is because it's not just one little thing. That's right. Yeah. It absolutely is. You know, it's it's a lot of different things. You know, mm -hmm. people uh, all of a sudden think first and foremost heart attack, right? But it's strokes, mm -hmm. uh, congestive heart failure mm -hmm. uh, that can be caused by any number of reasons. Right. Um, it's all sorts of different things. Yeah, and high blood pressure. And high blood fall pressure, under that too. absolutely. And absolutely. I know, I know, both of us have family experience with we that. We do. We do. My father had congestive heart failure and ended mm -hmm. up having a heart transplant. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, so we had him for nine additional years, which mm -hmm. were wonderful and. Uh, uh, then my mother developed uh, congestive heart failure as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I've lost them both, but mm -hmm. uh, she was with the American Heart Association right. for 30 something years. So wow. that's yeah. my involvement. Uh, yeah. And then I've got you know a lot of friends that have had, had the same types of issues. Right, right. My dad had uh, quadruple bypass, had a heart attack, mm -hmm. uh, quadruple bypass at the age of 63, so fairly young still. Right. And uh, my sister has had, she's 48 right now, but when she was 40, she had a heart attack. Oh my. Yeah. And then I think again when she was uh, 44, had another one. And so she's battling the high blood pressure mm -hmm. and all of that. And, and, and granted, they don't take care of themselves as, right. you know, like I try to do, mm -hmm. but they don't, we don't live exactly the same lifestyle. But it's a, it's kind of a genetic thing, I think, yeah. in my family as well, and you may be finding that too. I don't yeah. Know. yeah, we do. We watch yeah. everybody in our family. There are four of us children, so yeah. we get checked regularly. But right. thank goodness, my blood pressure is normal, oh, so good. I don't have to worry about that. But that's you know, the one the thing we all have to worry about is is so much sodium that's in yes. all of our foods these days, whether yeah. you want it or not. That's true. You know, prepackaged foods are just yeah. so full of sodium, so you have to be very, very yeah. careful. If you buy processed foods, and this is why I try my best not to buy, mm -hmm. buy processed foods. Take a look at the sodium Absolutely. content on the back the of that package. <laughs> it is the highest thing there, and and you, and I guess it's there to preserve it. It is, and that's, uh, that's the number one preservative is is sodium. Yeah. So just by cutting out that portion mm -hmm. of it, we can go a long way. Absolutely. But the way, the the symptoms for a heart attack. We're going to come back to the food thing that we can because we can all control that. But yeah. let's talk about the symptoms for heart attack, for, especially for women. Right. Since this is go red for women, because it is a little bit different than men. It, it is. You know, with men, you know, it's the first thing is the pain in the left arm, and that's right. not really what the deal is with women. Yeah. You actually get pain in your chest. Mm -hmm. uh, you have it down your back. Mm -hmm. It can be in your neck or in your jaw. Now that's what I find interesting, like in your jaw, mm -hmm. and, and like we. I mean, I would think some people might mistake that for like a toothache or just. A exactly. little strain Could or be. something. Yeah. Right. Or yeah. some sort of an infection. Exactly. You know, breaking out into a cold sweat, mm -hmm. you know, you get short of breath, uh, mm -hmm. and you can even be nauseous or very lightheaded. Mm -hmm. Um, and that could be heart. Yeah. And the the thing that I find interesting about those symptoms is that they could be misconstrued or mis I guess uh, misdiagnosed, misdiagnosed. Mis self diagnosed mm -hmm. uh, as oh I I have low blood sugar right. this afternoon because I forgot to eat lunch <laughs> or right. something of that nature because I mean I do that all the time. Absolutely. I go, you know we're as women we're going 90 miles an hour mm -hmm. most of the day. Right. And sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves in the, the way that we should and eating regularly and that correct and, that and kind exercising of thing. and <laughs> exercising and then we're then and we get a little lightheaded right. and we have some of those symptoms and That's we right. ignore them. Absolutely. And we, we think should. you're just hungry and it's a heart problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Which we don't want. That's so right. but this is why Go Red for Women is Absolutely. so important. Absolutely. You know, the Go Red for Women initiative is all about making sure that the women know yeah. their symptoms are different from men. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're we're just as ornery as the men oh, are. We are. We men, say we're not, a, but we are. A lot of men, you know, <laughs> they they think they have uh, indigestion. Yeah. And and we just think that we're stressed or or, or too tired. Or overworked. And so yeah. we are yeah. overworked. Uh, but because we all do live busy lives, but yeah. we absolutely have to um, make it easier on ourselves, and that's why the Go Red for Women campaign is yeah. so important to let women know what they can do to exactly. help themselves and recognize yeah. uh, their symptoms. And speaking of things, there are lifestyle things, choices absolutely. that we can do. And we talked about the salt one, of course, right. low salt diet. Right. That's an easy one to control. Yeah. There's products like Mrs. Dash, and she yes. has. You know, I remember when Mrs. Dash first came out. My grandfather had heart issues. I just remember that. Mm -hmm. and my grandmother changed salt to Mrs. Dash, and when I went over to their house, I never liked it. But now there are so many different. So many different kinds. That's true. That you can find something you like. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, use all sorts of other different seasonings. Yes. Uh, but you do have to watch the content on yeah. those two, especially if they're pre prepackaged yeah. uh, together. Absolutely. So. Now the other thing is, and I believe we have that information on your screen, and talk about physical activity, yeah. of course, exercise, check your cholesterol. Right. 
and of course don't it, smoke yeah <laughs> It's one of the hardest things, and then managing yeah. the weight, and that's that's my biggest problem is managing weight and stress. I, yeah. But uh, we try to do all of those things. At least I don't smoke, but, right? Absolutely. And I don't have high cholesterol either, but right. but it, my husband does, so yeah. we we try to watch that. So as you well. just kind of keep an eye on those things, and the lower those things are, yeah, absolutely, the less the likely you are to that's have right. it. You know, and or if it's genetics, you still like I think mine is mm -hmm. genetics, and I think ours is too, and it probably is. Yeah, um, you just have to do what you can, do that's your right. part, absolutely, in taking care of yourself. That is correct. All right, so we popped a picture up there of Annie. Uh, the, and the reason we did that is the Go Red for Women is honoring Annie and her mother at a luncheon. Kathy, tell us That's about correct. how you guys chose Annie Green and we and chose Green. Margaret and Annie Green. Uh, Ed Green, uh, Margaret's husband, Annie's father, is also suffering through congestive heart failure, and mm -hmm. so uh, you know they've been dealing with this issue for quite some time. Yeah. Um, he's doing good today, yeah. thank goodness, uh, but Annie and Margaret have been so involved in the community uh, throughout Southeast Texas for many, many years. Right. They volunteer for all sorts of different things and help out. Annie is an artist and she has just been, you know, on a committee for just about everything. Yeah, sure. um, so we wanted to take the time to honor someone that is battling that disease with Mr. Green and, uh, and, and honoring Annie and Margaret. Yeah. The event is this coming Tuesday, the 29th. It's at 1130 at the Beaumont Country Club. Uh, we always do a thing uh, that's called personality. Yeah. So there are a lot of purses that have been donated. They've been filled with wonderful gifts, yeah. and uh, those will be auctioned off, and, and it's a really fun time. Great information. Kathy, thank you so much.